starting out by using the pomade to mold down my hair I already rubber band my hair so now I'm just using that same pomade to mold down the hair so that when I do twist it none of my real hair will show in the twist however I did totally reconstruct the entire idea of my head so I did not use my crochet needle at all but for this style you will need it if you do not braid it down the way that I did it I just decided to braid it down instead of crochet it in because it was giving me a lot of problems and because I had less hair than I actually needed. I actually needed more hair and I only had about four bags so I had to kind of work with what I had. So again, I just decided to braid it down up until the end of my real hair and then the rest of it I'm just twisting, twisting, twisting. I went back and forth with my twisting technique so as you can see here I was wrapping it almost as if it's a faux lock and then I decided to twist both sides. It's very hard to explain, you literally have to do it. Um, but yeah, I just decided to twist it all the way down just so that I could kind of get like that passion twist look. So here is where I decided to switch it up because I noticed that I was running out of hair. So I decided to basically just rubber band the entire front portion of my head and I decided to crisscross applesauce my hair. <laughs> and then what I did with the remaining pieces of my hair is I just added the remaining hair that I had left over and I pretty much did the same technique as far as braiding it down and then twisting the rest of it. So you guys will see that momentarily, but that's how I was able to stretch the hair and still make it look like a super dope style. And honestly, while I was doing the front part, I was like, man, I could have actually did this to the entire part of my head, but that would have taken a little bit longer and it was already one o'clock and I had to get up at eight. So with that being said, this is what I came up with and I hope you guys really enjoy and try this style.
right guys, so I'm first starting off with my primer. Of course, in order to have any good foundation, you have to do your skincare routine. So washing your face, moisturizing it if you use sunscreen and serum and all that good stuff. And then if you want to use primer, you can. Makeup does not need it. However, it is always your preference. And then what I typically do, because I have oily skin, is I'll go in with my setting powder in the very beginning. And I'm basically setting my primer. Okay, you guys have probably heard this before, but I definitely recommend it if you have oily skin um, to do this step before. And I promise you, your makeup is going to last all day. Okay. And then I don't typically do my eyebrows first, but just for the sake of the video, I did. But I typically will set my face as I did in the previous clips. And then I will do my foundation, my concealer, my bronzer, and then I'll do my eyebrows as a last step. Um, and depending on if I'm wearing lashes, that would obviously be my last step. But again, for the sake of the video, I just decided to go ahead and do my eyebrows first. Okay, so we're gonna teach you guys how to draw on these brows, baby girl, okay? So what I do, because I do get questions, I do not start from the very beginning of my brows because you wanna create an ombre effect. You want your brows to look as natural as possible. It's not gonna look natural because obviously you're drawing on. But to get them to look as natural as possible, the first step I would recommend using pencil. It's not that you can't use a pomade, but I've experienced pomade before and it's gonna always give you super dark brows. Like, it doesn't matter how light-handed you are, it doesn't matter the color you choose, pomade and pencil have two totally different pigments. So, with a pencil, you're gonna get more of a natural effect versus using a marker you get what i mean so that's kind of how i reference pomade and pencil so first i recommend using a pencil starting from the middle of your eyebrow draw lightly draw lightly be light-handed if you're heavy-handed you're gonna get a heavy-handed eyebrow like honestly that's just the way it is so just be as light-handed as you can and then if you notice i do not use concealer at the top of my brow and again, that's because we're trying to achieve a natural brow. I have tried to use a darker concealer, even down to using the same foundation that I use for my full face. And I'm telling you, it's going to still give you that halo. You're going to still be able to see that, you know, tint at the top of your brows or rather that color at the top of your brows. So I just prefer to use it underneath so that I could give a cleaner shape. And then what I'm doing now with the spoolie is just brushing out the pencil so that it kind of like moves around and kind of warms up to the hairs and to the skin so everything can like melt in together so it doesn't look like a full drawn on brow if that makes any sense so I'm just fluffing out the beginning of the brow hairs so that it can give that ombre effect and now we move to foundation so forgive my dirty beauty blender I always keep clean beauty blenders I have two and I just did not get around to cleaning them but y'all know I only wear makeup on Sundays or if I genuinely feel like wearing it so it's not dirty I promise um, but yeah, this is really simple. I really just wanted you guys to vibe out to the music and just watch me do my makeup. But I know some people genuinely want to learn how to do it. And then others just really want to see me do my makeup. So it's real simple. You just take a beauty blender and you blend. You do not rub, you blend, you pat. Um, I always use a brush, but for today, that was what was in my face. So I just decided to go with a beauty sponge. I ended up switching my lashes because these were like too intense and y'all know I can never really do a full makeup tutorial without exiting out the clips of me <laughs> putting my lashes on because my eyes are so watery so I promise y'all it literally took me 30 minutes and then after the 30 minutes I realized these lashes are not gonna work so I just ended up going with some more natural lashes they're a little bit longer in length but they are more natural and they have a lighter band so I think my eyes were not as sensitive to those now a tip and trick i do with concealer if you notice i do not put it anywhere else on my face outside of underneath my eyes that is because i don't want to highlight any other part of my face but that i want to give dimension and i want to look a little bit bright but obviously not too extravagant 
um, and if you notice I'm not really extending it all the way out to my eyes I know it kind of looks like it but I'm not I'm trying to keep it right in the tear duct of my eyes because that's what's going to give me that brightening effect and then I typically do not bake my face but again for the video's sake I wanted to give y'all options because you don't have to do this but it will give you a more beat face without having so much makeup on so yeah I just typically and I know typically is my favorite word y'all so forgive me but yeah I'll just set my face all over bronze it highlight it I'll use some setting spray and call it a day okay oh yes one last thing so if you see me blowing a bubble like this or like whatever I'm doing <laughs> I am um, pushing my mouth out because I learned this from a youtuber um, who actually started off doing makeup it helps your smile line so when you smile you don't crease with the makeup so if you pull your face out like that and set your face exactly like that when you smile throughout the day your makeup won't crease in those smile lines so that's just the tip and trick that I do I'm 